So I will just give it a few seconds so we can go live properly and get everybody available. <clears throat> there we go. Let me just, I'm just double checking what's going on the screen here so we can work out what's going on. Amazing. Okay, so we are all set up and ready to go. I'm going to turn this screen off so, every, so I don't distract myself basically. So let me just turn that off now and we'll swap to that. So welcome to the first in a series of live streams for Nanglite. So for those that don't know me, my name is Luke Curtis and I am the UK and European Marketing Manager for Nanglite. Um, we are doing these live streams, as you can tell, in my living room because obviously what's going on in the world at the moment, it kind of limits us. So we thought rather than not communicate with our end users, the best thing we could possibly do would just be continue to, to create content and answer your questions and stuff like that. Um, so in terms of what we're going to do, in this first video, we are going to talk about the fours of 60. So we're going to cover its form factor, you know, the USPs about it, you know, in terms of its quality, light output, and then we'll go through a whole range of accessories that you can add to this really convenient light. So we'll do those bit by bit. Also, what I will have is my computer open in front of me, and that will allow me to answer any questions that are thrown up whilst we're going through this live stream. So give me two seconds, I will just switch that on. And also as well, there has to be a level of um, kind of being natural within this because obviously this is a live stream so there are elements um, that we can do. So cool, if I open this up, I have chat open and I'm just going to say hello all and see if we get any responses. So our chat is open and we are ready to go. Also as well, I've got a cheat sheet in front of me and the reason I have that is because if I get asked any questions in and around some of the statistics, um, I just want to make sure I'm 100% on all of those pieces of information because I think it's only fair to do so. So just in terms of my light setup as well for this live stream, it's worth mentioning that in front of me I have a Forza 300 and it's using a 110 centimetre softbox. Um, and the reason it's using a 110 centimetre softbox is just because that's uh, the, the size that I felt was most convenient for this room setup. I've got a white wall over here, the white is bouncing over here um, and lighting me as such. That's probably set to about 30% and obviously it can go a whole heap brighter. Um, but for this scenario, it's, it's quite, you know, we should be controlling all the light, we don't need to go to that degree. Also over here behind me, I have a Pavo tube just in the background, so a Pavo 15C. And the reason I've set that up is I just want a little bit of separation light between me and the background um, and stuff like that. So without any further ado, let's get started with this live stream. So we're going on. So at any point during this live stream, if you want to field me any questions, what I will aim to do is answer them all um, in, in, a, in a section of the, the live stream. So I won't answer them all as we go. I'll kind of like block them all together and then answer at the same time. So we've spoken about what we're going to do and we've explained why we're doing these live streams and we hope to do them every day for the foreseeable future. So the first thing to start off with and discuss will be the global uh, Forza promotion. So at the moment, if you guys aren't aware, if you purchase a Forza, uh, we are giving away a we're giving away kit as well. So I'm going to talk you through what that promotion looks like and also what it includes. So give me two seconds. Let me just throw this up in front of me. But the initial one is this is specific to a few territories. So just to make it clear, there are a few territories that this won't be active in. The United States is one of them. Um, the UEA and Saudi Arabia is another one. Um, Hungary is, is also another one and Spain as well. So those guys are not counted into this uh, promotion. But what you will get is a discount off of your equipment you buy. So if you were to buy a Forza 60, if you were to buy a Forza 300 or Forza 500, you will get a discount off of those in those territories. But for the rest of the territories out there, in terms of the offers that we have, and I'll break them down for you now, if you were to buy the Forza 60, you will get a Bones adapter. So that Bones adapter will allow you to take the Forza 60 Mini S-mount adapter into a step-up Bones S-mount adapter. And that's basically going to give you the option to use all of the legacy Bones light shapers that there are available in the market, which is fantastic and makes this light even more versatile. If you don't go for that option and are in one of the territories where it isn't available, USA, Spain, UAE, 
Saudi and also Hungary. If you're in one of those territories, you will get a, a discount of around about 11.4%. It does vary depending where you are and due to your currency exchange and things like that. So just bear that in mind. The next one in the Forza promotion is if you buy the Forza 300, um, what we will give you is if you purchase the Forza 300, we will give you a Forza 60 free of charge. So the light that we're going to talk about today, if you buy the Forza 300, you will get this free, which is amazing. So all of a sudden you go from a one point light setup to having a two point light setup, which is going to give you more versatility in terms of the stuff that you can potentially shoot. If you are in one of the territories where you don't get the free product, you will get a discount, and that discount is around about 28 to 30%. Um, so in one of those territories, you will get that discount. Then finally, if you were to purchase the Forza 500, which is our all singing, all dancing, extremely powerful um, you know, COB system, so it's the big brother of this guy here. If you were to buy that, you would get the FL20G Fresnel. Okay, so that is, basically the bigger version of this guy here that we're gonna talk about a little bit later. You get that free um, and you also get um, a Forza 60. So you get the Fresnel for the 500 and you also get a Forza 60. So you get one of the most powerful COB lighting systems on the market that's available right now. Um, and also you get a Fresnel, which is gonna amplify, amplify that output. And then you also get one of these added to it. So it's a really good offer. And just wanna stress that if you are in the United States, in Spain, in UAE or Saudi, you won't get this, or, or Hungary, you won't get the buy one, get one free offer, but what you will get is a percentage discount. So that percentage looks like on the Forza 60, 11.4, on the Forza 300, it's around 28 to 30 percent, and on the Forza 500, it's around about 26 to 27 percent, depending where you are. So that's the first thing we wanted to talk about today. Um, oh, we've got one person coming in and saying good evening, so we're just going to say hi. How you doing? So that's how the, the promotion works in and around the Forza. So if you are considering one of these lights, now is a great time to do it. Also, what we have as well is we have a competition going. So this competition is to give away a Forza 60, okay? In terms of how this mechanic, in this competition works, at the end of this live stream, in the, sub, in the summary section in this video, I will add a link. That link will take you to our newsletter. And if you sign up to our newsletter, which is a monthly newsletter we send to our end users to educate you in how to use our equipment and keep you updated, with all of our promotions, um, we will pick one of those subscribers um, at random basically to win a Forza 60 and we'll send it out to you and you guys will have a brand new light to play with. So that will be added at the bottom of this, that will be added in the summary of this video at the end. Once I finish, I'll add it to it. You click to subscribe to the newsletter. Also what we do as well is that's one entry card. If you want to increase your potential at getting more entries, what you can do is you can follow us on Instagram, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can like our Facebook page. So in total, you can have a potential four entries. I'll explain the whole mechanics underneath, so if you get it, um, we can do that. I've got another question in there, so I'm gonna answer that in a second if we just hang on. So that's the current newsletter competition. If you are a fan of our products, or you're just starting to hear about our products, now would be a great time to join up the newsletter you know, keep on top of all of the new updates and products and stuff like that. And there's also a whole host of uh, supplementary educational equipment that will help you become a better photographer or a cinema photographer, cinematographer using our equipment, which is amazing. So we've had a question here in terms of this competition. What if I already like and subscribe to your YouTube, Instagram and Facebook? Now, if you already like, subscribe and, and do all of those above by joining our newsletter, it still works the same. Because what we basically do is we go through our, we scroll through our Facebook, Instagram, all the rest of it, and all of those platforms, we select one at random. If you're only on the newsletter, you only have one chance of winning. If you're following us on Facebook, you have two chances of winning. If you follow us on Instagram, you have three chances. And if you subscribe to us um, via the newsletter, you also have another one. So the answer to your question, Plugin Productions, is, the more of our channels you follow and stay up to date with, the higher the probability is that you will be entered into the competition, which is great. Um, so it's well worth doing. Hopefully that answers your question. Also, we have another one um, from Edberg 
like Sam. And his question is, what if I buy the Forza 300 from Nanglite USA website? Do I get the Forza 63? So at the moment, currently not. And the reason being is in the United States, this offer doesn't exist, okay? So what they are doing is they were giving you a percentage um, back, which is close to what the Forza would be. Um, so you get a percentage discount off the purchase of your product. So if you were to buy the Forza 60, the percentage discount off of the Forza 60 will allow you to buy the Bones adapter at the set, you know, for, for you know the same sort of prices if you were to buy just the Forza on its own. If you were to buy the Forza 300 and you get the Forza 63, the discount percentage will make it, it will close the gap a little bit. So that's how that works. And hopefully that makes a little bit more sense to you all. So feel free to throw some more questions in there and we'll answer them all as we go through. And also what I'll do at the end, once I've finished this conversation with you all, or once I've finished this video, I will basically answer all of the individual questions. So do throw them in and we will get back to you. So that covers our Forza promotion, also covers our newsletter. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna start. Okay, so Sam, so um, Edberg, thank you ever so much. I'm glad that makes sense. So now we're gonna go in and we're going to talk about the Forza 60. So for those of you who don't know, LEDs over the last few years have really been transitioning in terms of the technology that they have. Um, so the traditional diode is, the, the problem with the traditional diode is to get more light, you have to have more of them. And that meant panels were extremely big and they were extremely expensive to get a high output if you were trying to compete with the likes of flash or HMIs or other sort of lighting systems. So there has been a revolution with LEDs and that revolution is what we call COB or chip on board. So if you have a little look here, I'm just gonna take this lens cap off. If you have a little look in here, what you will see is there's a yellow surface, okay? And that yellow surface is the entire diode or the entire chip, okay? And that basically allows us to make a higher output. So we can get much higher outputs in a smaller space, which means all of a sudden, rather than using the traditional older diodes, we can become more powerful in a smaller space. So you will be familiar with some smaller LED products, and some of them may have some output, but the, the problem with those is, you know, the, the, the surface area dictates the power. If you don't have a lot of surface area, you will get minimal power. Where with COB technology, this isn't the case, okay? So you can get immense power from a small surface area, and that's exactly what happens with this Forza 60. It's an extremely powerful light for its size. So just to give you an idea, when we're talking about form factor, I'm just gonna take it off and just give you an overview. Hopefully you guys have seen these already. Um, it's a carbon fiber body. So if I show around you now, you can see it's a carbon fiber body. It's vented on the top and it's vented on the bottom. This allows the head to obviously regulate its, its temperature. Because of the chip on board um, diode, it creates heat, exactly. So you have to be able to generate a way to take that heat off of the light. So by having these vent systems, they keep the system cool. You can see that there. There's a vent this side. And there's also vents on this side. It uses a mini S-mount adapter. So basically, if you're familiar with any of the Bowens light shakers, it's a free tooth system, slides in here and clicks into place. Now, it is a mini system, so it won't work with traditional Bowens adapters. And that's why we have developed a Bowens um, step-up ring, which will allow you to use this with your existing Bowens. And that's available around the world as we speak. So it's a great product. If you own this, my honest advice is get a Bowens step-up because all of a sudden, in terms of what you can do regarding shape in light, you, you have no limitations. So if you have old bone stuff, if you've gone and bought Godox stuff, if you've got you know some uh, Photics, there's so many manufacturers that make bones S-mount light shakers, um, and they come in all different price packages. So if you are interested in using those, the step up ring is, is an absolute must. Um, so I would highly recommend it. We also use this L-shaped bracket. So you can see here, this L-shaped bracket allows us to swing pretty much all the way around the fixture, which means if we wanted to hang it from the ceiling, we have that option. If we want to angle it in a range of different positions, we have it. It has a single point thread here, so we tighten that thread, and that basically will secure the head and lock it into position, okay? We also have a standard fixture at the bottom. You lock that into place, and that will allow you to mount it onto a stand. 
Now, when we look at the back of the system, it's probably going to be difficult for me to show you this here, but I will get as close as possible. You will see we've made the menu system as simple as possible. Okay, so there are only three buttons effectively. So you have a dimming button, which is over on the left hand side with a blue um, sticker on it. Underneath there is the DC input, which is 15 volt. And then you also have the switch on off. And then we have the select key. The great thing with the select key is we can push it in to input menus. So for instance, if we want to change features, once we dial around, we just push into select, okay? You don't have that with the brightness, and I'll show you now. So if you have a look at the back of this system, I'm holding it here for quite a long period of time because I know there's a slight delay. So if you have a look, once I know that's focused in, you can see here, this is our select button, this is our power up, power down, and then here is our on and off. Um, there's also an LCD screen on the back, which makes it really easy to navigate. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll stick this on, and I will give you a bit of an idea of how this works. So switch this on. Thank you for those that have joined us. It's great to have you here, we really appreciate it. So also, this is a live stream, so it's great to have people watching us here and now, but what will also happen is we will save this video uh, at a later date, so you can come back and you can refer to it if you have any questions or you know you can't remember something I said, you can come back and you can just reference this, which is great. So I'm now gonna switch on the head itself. So you can see we're just using our, our 15 beam volt. So I switch this on using this key here, and you can see all of a sudden the room will, will light up massively. So this is at 100%, okay? We probably don't need it in this situation here, so I'm just gonna drop it down just for this demonstration. On the back here, we can see this takes the power up, this takes the power down, and then if we wanna access any of the special features, we do that now, just by using this dial on the right-hand side. So the first one is flash, then we have flash two, which is basically slowing the flash process down to create different lighting effects, such as lightning, um, so if you are a indie cinematographer and you want to add the effect of lightning or strobes, you can do that using this light setup. We also have storm. So this is, again, this is a more vigorous storm, shh, firing away, and storm two. So we have flash one, flash two, flash three, storm one, storm one, storm two, storm three. So there's a range of different ones in there. We also have TV. So this will create the effect of a slowly flickering TV, basically. So if you want to create a little bit of mood and drama of a TV and someone sitting in a living room, this will be the function that will allow you to do that. And then we also have bad bulb. So this is replicating a bad bulb effectively. And then we can switch the special effect off. If we push in, that allows us to choose the channels. Now, in terms of channels, we can go from 1 all the way to 512. So that means basically we have 512 channel options when we're looking to control this wirelessly, which is a great, great functionality to have. If I go down to one, and we'll explain a little bit more, then we have the fan. So we have the fan on, fan off. Now, by turning the fan off, obviously this increases um, the risk of it overheating. So in terms to mitigate that, what we basically do is we turn off the, uh, we reduce the power. So when you switch off the fan, the power will reduce basically. So you can't, <clears throat> so it will regulate the temperature of the system, which will stop it overheating, which is great news. <clears throat> so excuse me. So that's the, the simple basic navigation of the system in the head itself. The light comes with this hard reflector and this hard reflector will allow you to amplify it. <coughs> so, excuse me. Allow you to amplify this. So if you can see here, now on the wall, you can start to see, I'll switch the fan back on. <coughs> there we go. And you can see that with this reflector, hopefully you can see against the wall, um, the, the hot, it creates a very hard light. So what you have is, because it's a smaller light source, it will produce a relatively hard light, which will give you dramatic shadows along the edge. So normally with LEDs, they struggle to produce hard shadows. And the reason being is having multiple, oh, that was a good catch, having multiple diodes overlapping each other, create a wide spread of light. So even though you have a small light source, it creates a wide spread, which gives you a generally softer light. Now what we have here is this hard reflector that amplifies the output, uh, 
um, but also gives you hard lighting so you can be a bit more dramatic in terms of the production that you're trying to create. <coughs> so I'll just switch this off. So that comes with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what comes in the bag when you get a Forza 60. We've got a range of stuff lying over here. So I'm just going to move some bits out of the way. We are limited on space, so we're kind of working to the best of our ability. So Forza 60 comes in this handy carry case. So does the 300 and so does the 500, okay? The great thing with this carry case is at the top, you will see that we have this. So this is great for putting a travel stand. So for instance, if you wanted to, you could put batteries in there, you could put travel stands, you could have your light, um, and you basically have a single point light setup that can go anywhere. Now, traditionally with lights, especially if you're using flash, you know, if you're using speed lights, you tend to get less power, you tend to get harder shadows because there's a smaller light source. And then if you want softer light, you have to get a range of different apparatus to be able to allow you to do that. You don't have to do that here. You can get just as much versatility from a light source in this one package, which is fantastic. So light stand, batteries, the head, the reflector, everything you possibly need. So we just unzip it like so, open it up. We also have a shoulder strap. So this here gives us a shoulder strap and these basically will uncatch. So we can catch that like so, and we can catch that like so, and it opens it up all the way to the top. So if we want to just dive in there, we can get access to all the equipment quite easily. So what comes in the box? Your hard reflector, obviously. So I'm going to pop this back in. And I'm just going to show you here. So if I show you here, this one has been opened, it's used, it's not pristine. So when you get yours, yours will all be wrapped up and protected. So in here you have cables, in here you have your hard reflector, and then the actual fixture itself is based in here. Um, and you will also get a lens cap as well to protect it. Now, the great thing with this carry case is these are all Velcro. So if you wanted to reconfigure it into a different way, you can do that, which is great. Um, so it gives you more versatility in terms of if you wanted to carry multiple fours or sixties in one bag, you can do that just by laying them in in a different out outlet by using the Velcro insert. At the top here, you also have a zip. So this is great for putting additional cables and things that you may need. Um, so yeah, so this is basically the Forza 60 as it comes, which we think, in our opinion, for a light of this specification, is fantastic. Like what you get is, is truly phenomenal. So you really are coming away with a you know a great light, and also um, it comes in this handy carry case. Like you're literally ready to go. So that's the first thing out of the way. So we'll get that done. That covers our form factor and what is in the bag. So now I'm going to talk to you about some of the specifications. So in terms of our specification, in CC, so in CCT mode, we have basically a CRI of 98. So in terms of CRI and color rendition and reading and metrics, anything above 90 or around about that is what they deem professional. So these specifications will be used by professionals in on sets for movie sets, also in broadcast studios. So anything around this level, you know, 90 onwards, 95 onwards is deemed as prof professional standard. So you have a light that's extremely, extremely affordable, extremely high power output, but also it's very accurate. Now, in terms of accuracy, that basically means in post-production, you have to do less adjusting. So these are daylight balanced at 5,600 Kelvin. And in terms of their accuracy, CRI is 98 and TLCI is 95. So that means when it says it's 5,600 daylight, it's pretty much as close to 5,000 daylight, 5,600 daylight as it can be, um, especially for this price point. Price point is phenomenal. Um, in terms of its light output, so with the hard reflector that it comes with here, the light output is 11,950 lux at one meter. And the reason being is, if you have a little look here, inside this hard reflector, it has this unique diamond inlay. Well, it's not diamond, but it's kind of like a diamond mottled effect. And what this is doing is it's amplifying the light output, okay? So without this reflector, the light output that you will get, if you give me two seconds, I will tell you. So our fours are 60. Um, without, without our reflector, 2,884 lux. Um, and then with the reflector, 11,950 lux. So, it's an incredible jump in output. It's, it's, it's truly phenomenal. So well worth having. 
also what I'll do is all of the specifications of this product I'll stick in the link down below so you can go off to our website and you can compare specifications and stuff. So if there's anything um, you don't understand, you can refer to our website and it will cover all those. So I've gone through the special effects. Um, I've talked about its uh, light output. Now what I am going to talk about is its power options. So at the moment, this is running through a 15 volt. So you can see it's a standard 15 volt, runs in here. What we do have is this guy here. So this is basically the BHFZ60. What this will allow you to do is take an NPF battery. So you take two of those batteries, you plug those into here. You still have a stand mount here, but what that will do is it will take the energy from those batteries and start powering the 460. So for instance, if I unplug this power source, I adjust this like so, pop this on here, and hold that, pop this on there. This is tying up. So we now have, oh, turn it one way, so spin it like so, just so they're both on. So we now have a grip. So there is not another light out there that does this, okay? So this has the capacity to pop two batteries in here and you can truly run and gun. Now, if you wanted to be on and off the stand, this still has a fixture. So we can still mount that onto the stand here like so, and it will still be usable on the stand. So I'll just unplug that. You can see, still can use it traditionally, but we we'll probably take it off and away we go. Obviously this cable plugs into the back um, and we run in there. Now, in terms of runtime, this is a 60 watt uh, COB high powered light. So don't expect hours upon hours of runtime off of MPF batteries. It really is for, for running and gunning, you know, turning on, turning off and, and quick in and quick out. So it's well worth having additional batteries. There's two feet on here. I would say from testing and playing around with it, I've been able to, with two fully charged, you know, high, high capacity MPF batteries, get anything from an hour and a half push, like to up to an hour and a half is around about max. Um, if you turn the power output down, of course you can extend that time drastically. So it's well worth adding that and, and considering. So this is a great accessory. So if you are considering this light, well worth considering getting this just to make it more versatile. I can guarantee you there's nothing else out there that does this. So we pop that in there. Just gonna mount that on like so, just so it's safe. And we're good to go. Okay, so that's that covered. The next accessory I would like to talk about is this guy here. So this is the FL11 Fresnel, 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 however you want to explain it. So this basically is a Fresnel zoom lens. So what this will do is if I take off our traditional lens, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug the power in. I'm going to take off our traditional lens just by using that. I'm going to plug this guy in, like so. I'll spin it around just so we can see what's going on. And I'll just pop that like so. You can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Good, good. So you can see here, we've got this lens. If we adjust this, this will allow us to create a hard spot or a wider spot. Now let's give you a demonstration of that. So if I spin this back around, like so, turn the power up. So have a little look, just give it a few seconds. I'm gonna wait before I can see it in the screen just to make sure the angle on the wall is, is right. So I would imagine it probably is there. So we've got this beam on the wall, so we've got this really hard spot, okay? Um, and that's because we focus the intensity of the light. Now that is also gonna increase the output as well. So with this, it starts to increase the output. So at 10 degrees, we get 23,860 lux at one meters. So when it's 10 degrees, which is this, you can see this hot spot here, it's extremely bright. It's nearly 30,000 lux, it's super, super bright. At the 45 degree mark, we get 7,566 lux. So I'm gonna show you the 45. As I zoom this back, you can see that that spot gets wider and wider, and with that, it loses some of its intensity. So it's worth, it's worth seeing that there. So that's the Fresnel. Now, the great thing with a Fresnel is, you know, if you want to add in, I'm just gonna turn some of the power down. So why would you wanna use a Fresnel? Now, this is obviously a small light source. Because it's small, you know, it's gonna be limited to power in certain situations. So being able to amplify is a great functionality to have. It means you can control that ISO and shutter speed and things like that, which is phenomenal. 
but also what it does give you is the ability to then add on these, and these are a set of barn doors. Because what we can do, have you ever seen in movies where they introduce a character and you tend to find, so a great character is Morticia from the Adams Family, or in some of James Bond films, either him or the villains, they will tend to have kind of like this harsh light over their eyes, and it's called the Morticia Adams look. And basically what it's doing is it's bringing focus to that subject's eyes and intensity. And that's what this will allow you to do. So what I'm going to do now is just plug this, switch this, stick this bad boy on. Cool, 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 cool. So we now have this switched on, and what I will do from a demonstration point, obviously it's not the best demonstration in the world, and the reason being is I'm in my living room, so do bear with us in that sense. So what I will do is I will close that down. You can start to see that's closed down. I'm going to increase the focus, and I'm going to close the barn doors and leave that there. So you might get an idea of, hold on one second, there we go, we'll put that in. So yeah, you get an idea of how the barn doors will work. So the barn doors are just basically um, cordoning in that light, and I don't actually think you can see it. So probably just there, but anyway, we have the barn doors. What I'll do is there's some other videos on my channel that you can have a little look at, and it will give you an idea of how those work. So that's another accessory that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, so this will just intensify the output. Well worth having. In terms of how it is packaged when it comes to you. So if I were to pop this back in here. So I'll zoom that back in. Little carry case. So this goes in here like so. This is then sealed. And it's convenient to carry this around. So that is the FL11 Fresnel for the Forza 60. Now, next thing I want to talk about is this guy here. So this is our Forza 60 softbox. So I'm going to place that there. Our Forza 60 softbox comes in this carry case again, so it makes it convenient to carry it. This is a newer style Easy Up softbox. So what we mean by Easy Up is the traditional method to do these is you have pins or spigots, you kind of pop them all in. They're not great. Um, they take a little bit of time to do. So what we've done with this guy is, because we know you're going to be running and gunning, we basically have set up an easy up. So first things first, we undo the velcro straps, and then we just pull these pins into place, as you can see here. Now, if you'd have told me that you can pop a softbox like this up years ago, I wouldn't have believed you, because softboxes have been and will be for a long time the bane of my life. This technology is available on this size, and it's also available on our 90 and our 120, but when we move into the 150, it's not available, and that's just because of the size. So once we do that, pop this in like so, seal this with Velcro, and we're good to go. This is a single diffused softbox, okay? And you can see that if we turn this around, let me just pop, pop these down, so a little bit of light physics. The, the smaller the light source in relation to the subject, the harder the light that will be created. The larger the light source, obviously the softer it will be. Now that's really important in terms of the style of photography or cinematography we want to create. So if we look at this as it is, you can see here, that is gonna create a very hard shadow, okay? A very hard light, which won't be flattering in certain situations, but will add a load of drama in a load of others. If we compare this to here, you can see the size difference is huge. So that just gives us the ability to create a softer light with a light source like this. So small light, soft output, which is great. So we get more, you know, it gives you more options in terms of a creative. So if you're doing, you know, talking heads, if you're doing interviews, if you're doing product photography, just hang that over the top, so many options, okay? So this again is another great accessory that we highly recommend with the Forza 60. Uh, so Black Steel TV would love to have this little beast. Um, how you doing? It's good to see you. Um, it's good for, thanks for joining the channel. Really appreciate it. It's good seeing you virtually online. So you can see adding this guy is going to give us a, um, a softer light, which is fantastic. Also as well, you can get grids for these, which is fantastic. So if you want a softer light with more control, we can add those. And again, in terms of putting it back down, we just unfold this. Pop that like so, and we just 
So I'm doing it handy so you can see. But you can see it's very easy to do. And there we go. We pop down and we're ready to go. So super lightweight, another recommended product uh, if you're going to get one of these products. So we've now covered, we've spoken our intro, we've talked about the statistics of this light, we've covered the body and the form factor, uh, a range of accessories, so what comes in the bag, also the FL11 uh, Fresnel. Then the next thing we have to talk about is this guy here. <clears throat> so this is our Wi-Fi transmitter. So I'm just going to grab this out. So the one at the moment we have existing is basically uh, through our parent company, Nanguang. So Nanguang is so Nanguang is our parent company. We have Nanglight and we have LED Go or LED Go as our two uh, sister companies. Now, in terms of how that works, is Nanguang is the parent company. You know, they are the the, you know, the innovation behind all the technology. They have over 28 years of experience in LED lighting and one of the biggest LED manufacturers in the Far East, which is fantastic. We split the brand down into two. So we have Nang Light, which will basically really cover you from amateur all the way through to a professional. So depending on the style of photography, videography, cinematography you want to do, we will have a product that will cater for you from Nang Light. If you then move into professional standards, you know, and you're looking at broadcast studios, uh, real big productions, you know, it's goes a little bit further than what some of the traditional Nang Lights are. LED Go or LED Go is the company you know, that we would do. So in terms of our product split, we don't limit ourselves. We can say we can look after all of our customers you know, in terms of their lighting need you know, for Nang Light. But if you do want to step up in terms of like a more broadcast style product, then LED Go or LED Go would be the product for you. So just how the company splits. If you're a bit confused, like it doesn't make sense, hopefully that does it. So on the front of here, you'll see it says Nang Wang. This product will work both with LED Go, LED Go, or also Nang Light. So this is our Wi-Fi controller. This will run through mains or it will run through battery. So I'll just plug this in like so, switch this on and you can see. Now what this is doing, if I just place this down, in terms of what comes in the bag, power cable and a DMX converter. So I'm just gonna close that off like so. Pop that in. So in some of our other videos, you will see us wirelessly controlling our lights from a smartphone, okay? So wirelessly controlling our uh, lights is a great, you know, it's a great tool resource to have. And the reason being is if you want to control the lights out of scene, then rather than having to retake and adjust, this will allow you to do it, okay? And in terms of how it works, this is a, a Wi-Fi relay. So it has a transceiver. So basically it can take a message and it can relay a message. These only have receivers. So our lights only have receivers at this moment in time. So we can only give them commands. So this acts as a relay. So our, this will create a closed Wi-Fi network, okay? Our mobile phones can then connect to this closed network and all of our lights can sit on that. Well, not all of them, most of our lights will, will sit on them. Actually, pretty much all of our lights will sit on them. Um, you then select the address on here. So for instance, what I've done, this is just a little bit of a tip. On all of my lights, I have a number and this number correlates to the Wi-Fi address or the channel that I want it to be on, okay? So this is always number seven. So when I create complex light setups, I can just look across the room and know that that's number seven and know what channel it needs to go on. So that's just a tip I use to help me manage my light setups. That's always number seven. It's always dialed into number seven on the unit. So when I go and pick up my smartphone to control this light, I know one of my fours or sixties is on number seven, okay? So this, my smartphone will then communicate with this box. I then make adjustments and this box will transmit that message to this guy here and therefore we can control them wirelessly which is a great functionality to have. Um, and it's, if you are moving into complex light setups and you wanna do them out of camera or out of scene, this is highly recommended. It's a product you must have. It can be mounted on the wall. We have a master and a slave mode. You can have DMX output. So if you have a complex DMX setup or you wanna pop an oven, another light that's set up on a DMX circuit onto this, you can do, um, which is phenomenal. So if you have a light that doesn't have wireless control, you can connect the DMX to this and it will give you the ability to do it. So it's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless uh, radio transceiver, yeah, tra transceiver, basically. So it's a great product to have and it's one that I highly recommend. In a lot of my videos, you will see me playing with using my smartphone to control my lights and the application is free. It's available on both iOS and um, uh, Android, so yeah. 
it's, it's a phenomenal bit of kit if you're looking at being more creative with your lights off scene. So if you're doing bigger production and your gaffer just wants to control lights off scene or you, this will allow you to do it. So you do have to have it at this moment um, because of the way the lights are built. If you don't want this, we also have a remote control. So the RC1 remote control will allow us to basically point at the light and go up or go down in power. So that's a cheaper version of this wireless control, but what you wouldn't have is the ability to create complex scenes and groups. Uh, so just, well, just worth noting that. So that's pretty much, we've been going for 40 minutes now and my voice is getting a little bit hoarse going through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to an end and hopefully if there are any questions, you guys can filter those into me and I'm always happy to answer them. Just wanted to recap, look, we are going to do a series of live videos over the coming weeks, and that's because of the situation we are in currently. We're just trying to make sure that we can communicate with our fan base. We really appreciate our fans and people that use our products, so it's super important that we continue to, to communicate with you guys on a regular basis and give you the chance to answer questions. So, you know, I'm the UK and European marketing manager, so hopefully it's been a, a good opportunity to my, introduce myself to all of you guys. And just to recap, we currently have a Forza promotion. So if you buy a Forza 60, you get the Bones adapter free or you get around about 11% discount off of the Forza 60. If you buy a Forza 300, you get a Forza 60 free or you get around about 28% discount um, off of the Forza 300, which if you wanted to, you could then use that discount to go and buy a Forza 60. If you buy a Forza 500, you get the FL 20, which is the, the, the bigger Fresnel, you get that free and you get a Forza 60, which is phenomenal. You know, in terms of light setup, if you really want to create something amazing, Forza 500, get the 60 free um, and then maybe go and buy your softbox or the other Fresnel for your Forza 60 and you have a super versatile stills or video light setup, two point light setup. Um, so it's worth adding. Also, we have a competition running to the end of the month, just to recap. That competition is basically if you follow us on our socials, so Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, you get an opportunity to win from each of those, so free. If you then subscribe to our newsletter, which is a newsletter we send out on a monthly basis, um, we also give you another opportunity to win. So potentially four opportunities to win a Forza 60, which is the product we've spoken about. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you all. I really, really, really appreciate the people that have stopped by and watched. Um, hopefully, if you have any questions, we can then answer those at a later date. And we look forward to seeing you on a live stream in, in the future. And if you have any subjects that you'd like us to cover, please do come back and we will cover those and we'll do it on a daily basis. Until next time, guys, take care.